Hi guys, I'm Charlie, Charlie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to do the bookish this or that tag. This is not a usual bookish this or that tag. I found this on Books Amino, so it is a little bit different, but I thought it would be a really fun tag to do on my channel because it has some really in-depth questions. It is currently really hot in the Netherlands, so if I look a bit sweaty and worse for wear, that is exactly why. The first question of this tag is series or standalones? And I think I would go with standalones. I like a fully wrapped up story in one book and I always feel very content when I don't have to read another book to get the whole world. I always feel like a bit disappointed I guess when I have to when I read a book and it turns out to be a series and then it turns out to be a trilogy or anything because I have to read more books to get the full story. I guess it's different when all of the books in the series have a fully wrapped up plot but most of the time that is not the case to be honest. I also really really hate it when a standalone book suddenly gets turned into a series because it was supposed to be a standalone and then it was hugely successful and the author suddenly thinks let's write another book or two more books or however many books and I was just fine with that standalone book I didn't need any more in this world and I really hate it when authors do that so I will read the book as a standalone and just keep it at that so I will choose standalones for this because I just like to read one book and then move on to a completely different story. The next question is a magic earned or magic born and I think I'm going to go with a magic earned. Magic born I don't know, there's nothing really special about that. Most of the time it's not the only character who was born with magic, but everyone in their family or something was born with magic. And I think it's way more of a chosen one trope when someone eh, earns their magic. And I think it's more special because most of the time other people don't have magic and just this one person has magic and suddenly can do all of these things. I think a good example of this is the Girl of Fire and Thorns trilogy. I really, really like that trilogy. And Elisa became a really interesting character throughout the series because of the powers she got. I'm going to go with magic earned, but I'm not entirely sure on this one. I think it's a little hard because both tropes can be very fun, but... For this example, I'm going to go with Magic Earned. Enemies to lovers or friends to lovers? I am going to go with friends to lovers because most of the time, in my experience, enemies to lovers is just not done well. I really, really like it if it is done well, but in my experience, it is very, very hard to do that because it has to be believable. If it's not believable, it's not a fun romance. An example for this is the Fallen Kingdom series for me. And then especially Magnus and Cleo. Magnus did some really horrible shitty things to Cleo and she still fell in love with him and I just do not get it. I don't think it's believable. One of the reasons why I dislike this series so much because the romance is just not believable and that's what the books are mostly about. I haven't read a lot of like friends to lovers romances but I do think it can be very cute when people have been childhood friends, like friends for years and then suddenly or they, they've had these feelings for a very long time and then suddenly they realize both of them have these feelings and become a couple. I think that is a very cute trope and I like that way way more than the horribly done enemies to lovers trope. Hilarious banter or emotional ruin? I'm going to say emotional ruin but just because because it's very hard for me to laugh in books. Books don't aren't really funny to me most of the time, so hilarious banter is very hard to find, and a lot of books do emotionally wreck me. So I go with that one, and also really like to just feel something in books, and when they emotionally impact me and they make me cry, it just makes me feel good because I know it, it is a good book based on that, if a book manages to touch me, and with a, and at a book I can laugh, but hilarious banter I mean, that doesn't happen. It mostly happens in fantasy books, I guess. They're very short moments and then it's, haha, okay, I know what the author was trying to do here, but it doesn't really strike a chord with me. As done right, I love Hilarious Bender. Like, My Lady Jane was super funny to me, but emotional ruin happens more often, so I'm going to go with that one. Love Triangle or Insta Love? Always Love Triangle. I don't like either of these tropes, but I think a love triangle can be done well and insta-love just never goes well, in my opinion. Insta-love is just two characters seeing each other and falling in love like at first sight and that doesn't happen in real life, it shouldn't happen in books and it is never believable to me. And if just if a romance is not believable, it is never fun. Same thing with the enemies to lovers thing. I think love a love triangle has much more potential to be done well than the insta-love trope. Keyboard smash fantasy names or fantasy names that all start with the same letter? Always keyboard smash fantasy names because if all names start with the same letter, I'm going to be really annoyed at the book. In what world does that happen? That everyone that everyone's names start with the same letter? It's just 
again, very unbelievable. And I don't like my books to be unbelievable. Even the fantasy world can be believable. All the characters starting with the same letter, that's just not a thing. I I'd rather just have names I can't pronounce than characters starting with the same letter. Mean parents or dead parents? Neither. But if I have to choose, probably the dead parents because mean parents are so horrible. When I read about parents being mean to their child, I just think, why did you have children in the first place? I, I genuinely don't get it. And if parents are dead, they can't be mean anymore. So I guess I'll just go with that one because it's, in my opinion, the less horrible of the two in a book. Obviously for the character that can be very different, but for me I think it's a less horrible it's, it's a less horrible to read about in a book. Supermodel looks or the character constantly says how plain they are. I'm going to go with supermodel looks because they just have to point it out like once or something and then it's fine. Everyone can be pretty in a book, I don't really care, but if a character keeps saying that they are ugly or plain or so average, that is getting really annoying after a while. Face on cover versus typography on cover. Always typography. Faces uh, can be very scary on covers. And they're also most of the time not very pretty. And typography can be very pretty with all the different fonts and sizes. And I, I just really, really like that on covers. Like, I, I also see that in my book choices that I really like a good font. And most of the book covers for the books I read don't have faces on them. Villain turning a little good or hero turning a little bad. I am going with the villain turning a little good because villains are infinitely more interesting to me than heroes ever are because heroes have all the good traits and when they like turn a little bad they will eventually still be the good guy and I think villains are more complex in a way that they are still evil even if they have a good side at least they just believe that they're doing the right thing but everyone else knows that they're not doing the right thing and I think they are more complex, more interesting and more fleshed out than heroes most of the time. But this was the bookish this or that tag, let me know down below what would your answers be to this tag? Do you agree with me on any of my answers? I would love to know. Thank you for watching, goodbye!